Welcome to my another video. Today we discuss about previous year questions on medical surgical nursing part 1. For more important MCQ on nursing subjects, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Question number 1. The classical substances that increases the sensitivity of pain receptors by enhancing the pain provoking effect of bradykinin is Option A. Encephaline B. Endorphins C. Prostaglandins D. None of the above Right answer is Option C. Prostaglandins High levels of prostaglandins are produced in response to injury or infection and cause inflammation which is associated with the symptoms of redness, swelling, pain and fever. This is an important part of the body's normal healing process. In contrast, endorphins causes analgesic effect. Next question. The number of cervical vertebra in human is Option A 11 B 9 C 5 D 7 Right answer is Option D 7 There are 7 cervical vertebra 12 thoracic vertebra, 5 lumbar vertebra, 5 fused sacral vertebra, and 4 fused coccygeal vertebra. Next question. Knee joint is an example of which of the following joints? Option A. Ball and socket joint. B. Hinge joint. C. Pivot joint. D. Saddle joint. The right answer is option B, hinge joint. The ball and socket joint is a special type of synovial joint in which the ball separate surface of one rounded bone fits into the cup like depression of another bone. Examples of ball and socket joint are hip joints, shoulder joint. Hinge joint is a joint between bones that permits motion in only one plane for example ankle joint elbow joint knee joint etc pivot joint is a freely movable joint that allows only rotatory movement around a single axis for example proximal radioulnar joint distal radioulnar joint etc saddle joint is a synovial joint where one of the bones forming the joint is separate like a saddle with the other bone resting on it like a rider on a horse. For example, carpometacarpal joint of the thumb between the milius and incus in the middle ear. Next question. Urea breath test in exhaled breath is used to detect the presence of option A Escherichia coli B Streptococcus C Helicobacter pylori D Staphylococcus Right answer is option C Helicobacter pylori Helicobacter pylori bacteria produces enzyme called urease in urea breath test, a tablet containing urea is given to patient to swallow. If patient having infection of helicobacter pylori in stomach, it breaks urea into ammonia and carbon dioxide with presence of enzyme urease. Carbon dioxide is measured after swallowing the tablet. If patient is infected there, there will be a rise in carbon dioxide level. If patient is not infected, urea will be excreted by kidneys. Next question. Which of the following is a manifestation of pyloric stenosis? Option A. Projectile vomiting B. Regurgitation C. Stetorhea D. Tenesmus Right answer is 
Option A projectile vomiting. Pyloric stenosis is defined as narrowing of the outlet of the stomach so that food cannot pass easily from it into the duodenum, resulting in feeding problem and projectile vomiting. Next question. Infection of the middle ear is called Option A. Otitis media B. Sinusitis C. Mastoiditis D. None of the above Right answer is Option A. Otitis media It is the most common infection of infancy and early childhood. Symptoms are ear pain, fever, irritability, drainage from the ear, etc. Next question. Important observation for a patient on anticoagulant therapy includes Option A. Headache B. Chest pain C. Epistaxis D. Hypotension Right answer is Option C. Epistaxis if a patient is on anticoagulant therapy, then we should observe for epistaxis. Next question. The preferred site for bone marrow biopsy in adult is Option A. Posterior iliac crest B. Anterior iliac crest C. Lumbar spinous process D. All of the above Right answer is option A, posterior iliac crest. It is the commonly used and preferred site for bone marrow aspiration in adults. Next question. Which among the following suggests problem with hematological system? Option A, jaundice. B, asthma. C, renal calculi. D, none of the above. Right answer is option A, jaundice. If there is any problem with hematological system, increased RBC, breakdown can occur and pigment will be released into the bloodstream and it can lead to jaundice. Asthma and renal calculi are unrelated to hematological system. Next question. Elevated levels of anti-streptolysin O are seen in Option A. Subacute endocarditis B. Ventricular septal defect C. Rheumatic fever D. Cardiomyopathy Right answer is Option C. Rheumatic fever Anti-streptolysin O testing is a procedure that demonstrate the presence of antibodies generated by the body against infections by group A streptococcus. Elevated levels of anti-streptolysin O are seen in rheumatic fever. So this is the today's video. Thank you so much for watching my video.